Einstein said that we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. And I was thinking about this the other day when I got a response to a social media post where a man said, I don't think that most men in troubled marriages would listen to a woman. That's literally the root of their problem. So I'm Leslie Dorries, creator of the Hero Husband Project and owner of Foundations Coaching, and I'm here to tell you why listening or getting advice from a woman if you're struggling in your marriage is a good idea. And I liken it to if you go to a foreign country and you don't speak the language and you're trying to find um, where the museum is or where the best restaurant might be, if you only talk to somebody who speaks the foreign language and does not speak your language, it is going to be much more difficult to reach your goal. The best thing to do is find somebody who's bilingual. And when we're talking about relationships, you want to make sure that you are talking to somebody who actually understands your goal. Now, what this um, poster was writing about, I do agree with. If the only woman you're listening to is your wife, that can be problematic because of the emotional involvement you guys have. And um, a lot of times with a lot of women, they only know slightly more about relationships than you do. It is a myth that women are better at relationships. If they actually were, they would not be um, instigating anywhere from 67 to 90% of the divorces. And what happens is when you know, you're in this struggle, you're struggling with each other, not struggling together against whatever the issue is. Because you're both, as Einstein put out, you are both defining the problem with the same thinking that created it. You need to go outside and the getting the insight from somebody who has been in the trenches, who understands what your wife is asking for, as well as supporting you in what you're trying to create in your relationship is really the way to go. Now, what I know is that a lot of men feel much more comfortable confiding in their female friends. They don't necessarily feel comfortable going to a man who, or, you know, who they feel might judge them. And I know that this is one of the issues when we're talking about going and seeing a woman. It's like, isn't she going to judge me too? Well, that all depends on her perspective. In the way that I look at it is both people are trying to get the other person to be more like them. And first off, it's not going to happen. And second off, to have a successful marriage, it's not necessary. What we need is to be able to understand what each person wants and figure out a way to get it. And by the way, the way to get it is not the happy wife, happy life, just say yes, dear, appease the goddess. You may have tried that, and I'm going to, I would be highly surprised if one, you enjoy being in that position, or two, if it actually works. Because most of the time, it doesn't. And so it puts you guys between a rock and a hard place. What do I do, right? And you both are doing what you know. And the trick is, as Einstein says, to learn to do it differently. And that's where I come in. I am your wingman. I am your translator. I translate wife because I've been one for almost 40 years. Um, and plus the fact that I'm also a marriage and family therapist, so I have the training. I understand what's happening. And I understand how to take you to where you want to go. And instead of spinning your wheels in this marriage that maybe isn't that bad, whatever that means, um, that you don't want to stay there. Because what happens is, is when things aren't 
changing in a positive direction, um, the chances of the marriage ending is really high. And your wife, I'm, I'm going to say, probably does not know how to effectively bring her concerns to the table. What happens is you blame each other. And I'm going to tell you the blame game is the fastest way to divorce court that I could possibly imagine. So if you want, if there's an area of your marriage that maybe isn't what you both want, whether that's um, dealing with the finances, dealing with the kids, dealing with running of the household, intimacy issues, if there's communication issues, if there's any place that you're struggling, or that it isn't the way you would like it to be. The question that I have, one, is how long are you going to let that go on? Because the longer it goes on, the more damage is being done. And what would make you reach out for help? Because the truth of the matter is, there's knowledge and support out there. I am an ally of men in their marriages because I think most of, of you out there are good guys who love your wives, love your families, don't want it to end, but you just don't know how to get there. So if you're interested in this, I invite you to get in contact with me. You can put it, you can send a direct message. You can email me at leslie at foundationscoachingnc.com. That's F-O-U-N-D-A-T-I-O-N-S, coaching and is in Nancy C is in Charlie.com. You can reach me on Twitter, you can reach me on LinkedIn, you can reach me on all the social medias. Please don't wait, please don't settle for not that bad when it could actually be terrific. So hopefully you found this helpful and until next week, stay loving.